All right, welcome back to Power Wash Simulator. We're almost through the, well, career mode, the free play mode. All the things we did in the career, doing them again. Now we're up to the stunt plane. So we've got the stunt plane and then the ancient monument, the fishing boat, the RV again, and then the final level. So we're not gonna get through everything, but uh, the stunt plane, I believe we did do uh, in early access so this should just be a bit of a revisit in many respects and won't take very long at all to do <laughs> it's basically just a case of kind of the same thing as we've already done just without the storyline blips coming up every 20% as opposed to the basic washer one where we were struggling a bit <laughs> taking our time uh, to get through all of the rust and egg randomly go figure there, there is a, a law reason for it there is a story to this game believe it or not uh, we didn't really pay a huge amount of attention to it <laughs> oh, okay let's just hop up here I do like when the hinges clean that quickly. I'm not trying to remember, did we actually do this with the in early access? I think we did. I'm fairly sure the fishing boat is the one that we reset progress before. So that one we've not done with anything other than the basic washer. Thank <laughs> god that took a long time. <laughs> I mean, it would have gone pretty quickly the first time doing it as well, because we had this washer. In fact, can we get away with the green? Even the green does rust. You do kind of have to swipe over it a little bit slower, so I don't know whether it makes it better or not. It's hard to tell. So it might actually be just better to stick with the yellow. Not sure. You definitely get better range from the yellow. Like it'll clean more thoroughly from further away. Green just kind of splashes a bit. Ah, uh, green doesn't deal with oil. But yellow does. So for the engine bit, we want the yellow. And even that takes a little bit more effort than normal. But at least we don't have to use the red, so there's that. Or the turbo, whichever one we used with the basic. There's a little angle in there that I'm not sure whether we're getting or not, but... And we can only go down as far as the angle allows us to. Cool, well, that's a good start, anyway. <laughs> this should be fine with just the green, because it's just glass, right? With, uh, soot or dirt. Nope, turns out there's something else. Why is it not showing what the dirt is anymore? I'm sure it used to. Have we turned that off or something? What's the... What's the deal with that? Dirt details. Yes. Now it's doing it. It just needed to be turned off and on again, apparently. So that's oil. Yeah. Okay. We've got an oily windscreen, apparently. An oily cockpit. Well. So I guess we just stick with the yellow then, because we just don't seem to be able to know exactly when the oil appears and this just means that it just goes right across it like i can see it flashing up sporadically so i may as well just use the one that deals with it What 
is the handle. I think the cockpit's both sides, unfortunately. Even though there is a line down the middle of it. Now, what's the best way to get in there? Probably this way. You can also stand on the cockpit and crouch, I guess, to get the bit in the middle. You can also use the trident um, nozzle, which we didn't have at this point because it, you needed a certain number of stars to unlock it anyway. I think you basically had to finish the game or be on like the final level to have enough stars for it I think, so we probably didn't have that at this point. But it's just a cheesy piece of work that <laughs> I don't like using it in general. I know it's probably the, empirically the best one to use. I'm sure that's what all the hardcore speedrunners seem to do. Remember there was a community, not community as such, but there was a sort of showcase of Power Wash Simulator at one of the GDQs. It's a multiplayer thing. And it was just basically a bunch of people just spraying with the trident nozzle just willy-nilly and basically just doing around and hoping for the best. Which, you know, I get it, but I prefer a more methodical approach myself. <laughs> now, is that still oil? Looks like it. Or is that just shadow? <laughs> That's shadow. That was oil. stuff. A little bit on the other side I'll need to. So I'm still missing a bit of the wing. Oh, the ends. <laughs> that makes sense. The wing tips. And probably on the other side as well. So I sprayed across the main part of it, but not the, not the tip. I think I'd start with the tip and work my way down, but apparently not. Are we going to need to do underneath even the lower wing as well, looks like? i going to just stand on the uh, propeller blade real quick. <laughs> that, that, that seems safe and comfortable. I'm sure it's fine. Thanks, bro. I feel this job probably took me 20 minutes or something when I did it the first time. And then I think it took me like an hour with the basic washer. <laughs> We'll probably come in somewhere in between now. I don't know, I, f I feel I probably waste more time even now than I used to, I'm not sure. Hard to tell. <laughs> I'd like to think that I'm quicker now than I was originally in, in the early access job, but I don't know. I, I feel I've probably deteriorated. So if nothing else, just because I'm getting distracted more. Well, I, had, I did do the wing tip. I don't know what else is needing to be done on the wing then. Oh, there we go. That, whatever that was, the inner wing strut apparently still needs to be done as well. There's just some weird angles that I haven't been able to get. So how, how am I meant to get those? Uh, apparently by lying down on top of it. <laughs> well, I guess. Works. Engine cowling, I think I need to do the underside of more than anything. 
Not a bad angle to do the leading edge of the wing though. Side. But we've got to do the underside, of course. Apparently, I'm still lying down. Come on. Done top down, now we'll try and do front back, I guess. Get into the seam area. Seems good. Almost done, apparently. That's just a bit up the top there. there go. A bit oily. Let's just go pro now. Seems odd just crawling along on our belly while we do this, but. It would be in some ways easier than crouching all the time. <laughs> be hell on your hamstrings. It's like a weird sky reflection going on on the underside here. It seems to not think that the wings exist or something. I don't know. Makes more sense to imagine us on our backs on one of those rolly things that you use to go underneath cars, I think. Rather than crawling along on our belly. Whatever works for your own individual narrative, basically. <laughs> So we got the support done, we haven't done the cover. I'm not sure we did that one either, yeah, even though that's mostly done. I guess it's the underside, yeah, the underside of the outside instead, probably. Yep, probably. And some more bits that I have missed, apparently. Now what? <laughs> that, apparently. I don't know what, but... There we go. From behind. Yeah, we'll leave that wheel for later. Probably till last, basically. The underside of the aileron. Underside of the wing. Excellent. Fuselage, just one giant bit, unfortunately. Uh, this lower wing still hasn't been completed. Oh, we haven't <laughs> done the top of it properly. That hinge has been done? It's a cotton hinge. Good, good. What are we missing on the wing now? Been pretty good on that. Apparently not. Ah, there we go. Not good enough. Here's the cockpit. Good. So jump on the tailplane. if there's even any oil at this point now. Might be able to just green it. I mean, it probably does make more sense to just go over it with the green anyway, optimistically, and then come back and do the oily bit specifically with the yellow rather than doing the thinner nozzle the whole time, but meh. I 
horizontal stabilizer is apparently not yet done. There we go. Neither is the elevator. So now it's like, okay, is it, oh, it's the, this, yeah, there we go. It's that, it's that part of it. I was thinking maybe I should have used the yellow, but no. I just had to do all the sides. Okay, now back up onto here. Do this bit. Ah, those are oil spots. Not on the rudder, apparently. I gotta say, I don't like the soap mechanic in this, but I feel when it comes to things like oil, that's almost where you should be required to use soap. <laughs> that's where it actually makes sense. There we go. Or you just spray enough the rest of it that it gives it to you anyway. Hinge not done. Can't tell. Oh, it is done. Is that one done? Elevator. Loving an elevator. There we go. Rear wheel, mount, and support. Well, we have done this perfectly turns out I'm just going to use the yellow not because I necessarily need to but just because it's a thinner nozzle anyway for what is a thinner element there's the support there's the mount and the wheel job done excellent that's pretty quick that's like less than 20 minutes for sure <laughs> so yes. sure enough didn't take long even with a bit to check the settings zoom 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 I've still got my Christmas outfit on, of course. <laughs> it's still doing the weird thing of like it looks like someone is standing behind me or something? I don't know. Oh. Mint Spies Christmas movie, apparently. There you go. Alright, so next thing is uh, the monument, I believe. Uh, so, back to free play, locations. Not the statue, but the monument, which we have not done, like, properly yet. Because the first time through, we did it with the white nozzle to get the achievement. Um, I'm going to just... What is it? E. I'm going to go back to flower power. And go back to my usual outfit. If nothing else, because I'm curious whether or not that fixes the weird sort of behind behind the camera sort of thing on the um, on the time lapse now the fact that this was completable using just the white nozzle means that I'm fairly sure I can get away with like the green at the very least but it was very tedious using only the white so for comparison for comparison, we've got yellow, nice track there, green, wide track, a little bit splatty, white, does the job, but takes a little longer. <laughs> the fact there's an achievement for it, though, does demonstrate that, well, it is possible, uh, but it did feel a little bit on the tedious side. Uh, the inside of this webbing as well. Just want to kind of prove to myself that the green is adequate. Just get this webbing done. Got to start somewhere. It's nice to get a ding on the board early. Now, what have I missed? don't see anything super obvious that I've missed, so that worries me that maybe it's not sufficient. Or it's just a funky thing where I've got to do like the margins and stuff. There's some sort of 
hidden overlap. This does have the seams between features like the statue did, which is a bit of a pain. Let me get this section done. Oh, this has another side to it though, I bet. <laughs> Maybe it won't be all that much better. <laughs> I'd love if I ended up not really doing much better than I did with the basic washer, simply because... Like, if it can be done with the white nozzle with the Pro, it can probably be done pretty easily with the yellow nozzle with the basic washer. Oh, good god dang, finally we got a ding. Yay, it's possible. <laughs> it's possible to get a ding on this level after all. Boing. So, I'm still annoyed with this webbing that it's not finished. Because it, it looks pretty finished. Oh well. We shouldn't waste too much time on that. We should just move on. This bit here. Good. So that's two bits. Uh, I'm still, still annoyed with the webbing. Okay, there we go. So interesting that swapping to the yellow just immediately worked. So it's like maybe it's better just to stick with that. I don't know. I do kind of wish that there was just a, a large scaffold here. Oh, there's the cats walking by. Steady procession of cats just going off into the sunset. Actually going to the coast, apparently. We'll find out later. Yeah, scaffold would be quite nice to get a bit of distance rather than having to climb all over it. I feel we'd be able to get some better angles on things. But then with the statue we ended up having to just jump on it anyway, I think, didn't we? So <laughs> we were trying not to as much as possible. Well, crunch. I mean, there's a ladder that I can like lean up against it, but that feels in many ways worse because then you got like hard metal. Actually, do we even have a ladder? Nope, we've got nothing. Okay, never mind. Don't mind me. I thought one of those was like a ladder or something, but no, apparently not. Apparently that's all that was used to excavate this thing. So we're going to have to use like an extension to get to the end of that. We should probably use like a short extension or something at the minimum anyway, right? A scaffold would be nice. That's where we just go, you know what, long extension just to make sure. Just polish the tip. bit is done. <laughs> I say nearly done, but no, just done. Now the really annoying bits was in amongst the curled fingers down the bottom here. It's like, did you really have to make the statue like that? Just a little bit more spread on the pointing, please, would be much more convenient. 
to clean. Easier to carve too, I thought. Even considering it being done in sections, it's like, is this even possible to create like this and, and assemble in these particular sections, I wonder? I'd like to get a, the model of it and 3D print it in, in pieces <laughs> as a puzzle and then put it together. Anyone remember the Puzz 3Ds? That was a thing at one point. Specific brand of 3D puzzle where they're all just kind of cut out of foam. That one of the Eiffel Tower. I don't know if they actually had it or borrowed it or what, but I remember putting together one of the Eiffel Tower and also Schloss and Alfredstein. That one was fun. So the palm extends quite a way underneath, I think. And has this bottom bit as well, of course. Probably the point that I don't need the long extension on anymore, but... Doing what I can without getting all the way in there. It extends all the way inside the cave. I was doing the back first originally, but... <laughs> well, we're here now, so... Let's see if I can get the palm done at the very least. And just chip away at some of these bits of finger as well while I'm down here. While you're down there. Sort of thing that I usually prefer to leave till last. I like working my way down, but... I'm also really good at getting distracted. <laughs> Not doing things the way I initially intended. Oh, we probably have to shoot in from the other side for a bit of it anyway, come to think of it. No, apparently not. Good. But these fingers in here can be a bit of a pain. Uh, most of them is actually on the outside. And we're just kind of messing about on the inside here. I think we want to shoot in that gap while prone or something. Can't even crouch anywhere around here. There we go. Finally you can not crawl. Alright, well, I'm going to assume that a lot of these things need to be done from the other side. I think this one's more just down. Oh no, there is an outside of that one as well, I think. I, I should really go do that first. I'm just going to take a quick break. And I'll be back soon. All of this uh, spraying of water is happening having a little bit of an effect. <laughs> Time to have a stretch.
All right. Uh, where's, where the hell's the cursor gone? <laughs> Losing my mouse and my mind. Okay, so that's uh, crawling around in the dark done for a bit. Let's let's get back up on top again. But hey, we've finished some of the segments, which is nice. We know we know we're not going completely crazy. Webbing would be nice to do though. I swear the webbing has like hidden oh, God's sakes. Has like hidden seams. It's that or there's just some weird angle that I have to get into. Because it's almost done. Don't know what's still missing. This is where having a scaffold would be nice, rather than having to climb on it and then f inevitably fall off. It's like, well, I may as well do what I can from down here then, again. But I'd prefer to be actually be doing stuff on top first. Well, there's the webbing. Something up in that corner bit. Wee. Okay. Back to the stubby. Yeah, I bet there's a bit of an angle that I still need to do this stuff on as well. I should just stand on my van and use like the extra long extension to do as much as I can from that angle. Because I think that's the bits that I'm missing on this feature now, it's just down there. I think I sprayed a decent amount when I was doing the webbing down there. There's just this weird crevice down here. And then the hand. <laughs> is there a technical term for the back of your hand? I feel there is. In fact, I think it's in multiple parts. Technically, because you've got the, the individual knuckles and stuff. I mean, we've got the phalanxes here. I mean, they are phalanges, I guess. So we've got the main finger phalanx, which just reminds me of Seven, like the I'm really sure that was like the Greek defensive unit that was better than a spearman. I think that was a phalanx. <laughs> Maybe it was the Romans. I can't remember. No, Roman had legion, I think. I feel, I feel Greek had phalanx. So long and phalanx for all the fish, I guess. But yeah, we don't even have individual. We've got all the these other bits, but we don't have got pro distal, intermediate, and proximal. But we don't have knuckles. I guess we'll just have to stick with Sonic then. Will not know the way. So you're having a nice big tall scaffolding about there to shoot it on a more direct angle would be so much nicer at this point. Uh, yeah, yellow would just be better because it's a much thinner. I guess then I'm just going to leave intermediary lines instead. I'm just finding I'm pretty much having to double over bits that I've done with the green anyway.
because it leaves a bit kind of half done there which I then just have to go back over that part with the center of it anyway and so well I may as well then have just done a thinner but more clean line in the first place I swear every single time I think that hey I'll just use the green I always end up just going back to the yellow <laughs> keep crawling back <laughs> to good old yellow nozzle all reliable we have our our bit on the side with the green from time to time just just a occasional fling with the 30 degree but we always end up coming back to good old 15 degree yellow Yeah, 15, there we go. Um, oh yeah, here's all the bits that I missed. And voila, see, yellow doesn't let us down. Didn't even need to put an extension on. There are definitely times that the green is, is just is sufficient, but only when it's really light stuff that's barely, barely even considered dirt. Now all of that we may as well do from the ground, I think. If I'm having to spray down on it at such an angle, then what's the point in trying? I used to think it would be kind of cool to have webbing on your hands to be able to swim better. Then I kind of got bored with swimming. Kind of sort of enjoyed it when I was a kid, but these days I'm pretty happy on dry land. <laughs> yeah, it's good exercise, but so are many other things. I walk a lot. <laughs> I used to walk a, a very large amount, now I walk a lot less, but still try to get out every now and then. But I do have an exocycle, which I keep feeling that maybe I should just get a new one, because it's pretty old and a bit crap, and the newer spin bikes look really good as a alternative just something with a more comfortable seat would be nice but then it's like well then I've got to get rid of the old one and that's just a waste and like yeah it's not great but it works and for the amount that I actually use it that's kind of good enough <laughs> still got to do the whole other side of the hand so Shouldn't really be bothering with the finishing touches here just yet, but never mind. It means this side will be completely done. Hopefully. Looks pretty clean to me. Looks pretty good. Can be hard to tell with the like reflection from the rock around. You kind of think that you've missed a bit, but it's just a bit of the reflection from the orange surroundings. So even though there's a fin separating this, it's actually both sides really annoyingly. 
Or you think, oh, that's done, that should ding. No, because the other side is the same piece, apparently. It seems pretty clearly delineated by a big ridge going across it, but okay. Whatever you say, game. Now give me this fin, thank you. <laughs> Demanding dings now. You can't stand on the damn thing too, you know. Probably make it a lot easier. Down to the next one. So where this fin extends slightly underground. There we go. Good. Excellent. Now, I guess we could do the wrist and arm bits now as well, but we'll just work our way back down the back of the hand from the side. Didn't actually check to see how long it took me previously to do this. I mean, I feel that even with the basic washer, I was probably using the same nozzle strategy anyway, like... If you can do it with the white nozzle and the... Pro, then surely you can do it with... The yellow and the basic pretty much as quickly, huh? <laughs> Maybe? Maybe not. Probably did have to move a bit slower. I know that the fishing boat is going to go much quicker <laughs> with this washer. It'll probably still take a good hour and a half or something. Like, I doubt it'll be super, super quick. But I think it took me like five hours or something stupid it was at least a three-parter I think with the basic washer because it took me so long just to chip through all of the barnacles okay now I don't feel bad about finishing off the arm section because the wrist is not really above it anymore I do like when things ding exactly when I expect them to. There we go. Now let's just get some distance and chuck an extension on. So I'm not looking up at it too much. I mean, I'd expect it to be fairly generous as well, and if I've missed just a few spots here and there, shouldn't matter too much. It's getting pretty close, and then it's just, I say just, it's just the fingers at the front. Yeah, the one that are all folded in and have two sides to them that are super annoying to actually do. But it'll be just them left. Hey, this is an appropriate soundtrack. It's a bit from Futaba's Palace in Persona 5, which is in a desert. <laughs> hey, there we go. Oh, and <laughs> that's funny. You get to this point and now I've just got four lots of things to do. So the checklist shows up when you have three things to do. Because these aren't broken down by finger, they're all the same, named the same piece. 
then we just have a list of four of each of them to do, which is fun. And it's got the underside as well. Uh, yeah, there we go. We'll leave that until the end, I think. Because I don't really want to have more to do on the outside. Beaver away at getting absolutely everything on the inside. Only to have doing it like that one. Only to have doing it from the outside make it ding. I'd rather clean off the outside really thoroughly. And then be able to maybe have it ding before I do literally everything on the inside. As you can tell from those two dings, that strategy is a bit late coming. <laughs> Seems I've already done everything on the inside of those ones, but not all of them. Not, not these ones here. Oh, okay, maybe that one. These are the bits that I was thinking on when I was on the inside. That, oh, I'll have to spray in from the outside to get them. Sure enough. Just have a little, little porthole here. Ditch the extension actually. So I can get right up close and spray it on this angle in here while I'm there and everything. Alright, now you. Yep, sure enough. There is a couple that I'm going to have to go inside again for, I'm fairly sure. And the next couple of fingers. I didn't do everything. That's all the proximal bits done though, so that's good. Now it's just intermediate and distal. Didn't even know they had separate names. Makes sense. Nearest, intermediate, and furthest. Most distant. That one's done. Why am I spraying that one? It's done. <laughs> myself in here as much as I can. I can see some of the blemishes that I've missed on this one, but not all of them. There we go, good. And it's just the distal ones now. So it's just these bits here. So this has a little bit. There we go. This has a little bit. Ooh, ah. Just a little bit. Be probably underneath, I guess. much from the top as we can, we think. It's just these two left. This one feels like it's almost done, but apparently I'm missing quite a lot, actually, which is concerning. It's like the middle finger. It's <laughs> rather appropriate that it's giving me the middle finger. Yep, sure enough, it's the middle finger that's not done. Is it a bit in here? Yes, looks like it. There we go, it was right underneath. I'm just stuck in this cave. Let's go stand up on top of it. won't see anything for ages because I was doing the other side <laughs> and then I was on the inside so it'll look done and then there'll still be bits left over and I've still got the weird ghostly thing hovering behind me sacred geometry the six fingers is there six fingers oh yeah there's a thumb on the other side and then there's five other fingers there's a pointer and four others cool 
Well, that's that's that one done. That's that's two in a row done with it and now, so that's pretty good. I think that was much quicker than our previous outing with this uh, particular map. Cool. 